Hi guys, today we're going to have a look at this circuit here, which is the potential divider circuit. Uh, I've got a, uh, a power supply, which is 3 volts, uh, which is here, I've just set this up to 3 volts. Uh, I've got my potential divider here, which is this got a complicated looking device here, but it's actually quite simple. It's a rheostat, uh, and I'll go over that in a second. I've got an ammeter, there's my ammeter which is just here in my circuit. And then I'm going to be looking at the voltage across the potential divider. And I've set up two voltmeters here. So this is going to be voltmeter one. And over here, this is going to be voltmeter two. Now on the power supply, I don't know if you can see, but I've actually set this to output three volts. So we've got a potential of three volts here, positive three volts here. And we have got zero volts just here. So, uh, our little rheostat, the way it works is, uh, let me zoom in a little bit, see if you guys can see. There is a cable that's coiled all the way around, a piece of resistance wire. It's coiled all the way around, so on this side over here is 4 volts, plus 4 volts. Over on this side over here is 0 volts. And we've got a continuous change in voltage going all the way across. And I can kind of tap this voltage uh, using this little slider here. Okay. And we're just going to have a look at what happens to our value. So let me look over here. Uh, so at this moment, I've got, okay, with my V1, I've got half a volt. I'm reading on the bottom scale here. And over here, I've got 2.5. Okay, so uh, let me just record this on my little board over here. So V1 was uh, 0 0.5. And V2, so we've got 0 0.5. Uh, and then we've got uh, V2 was 2.5. Okay, so the total voltage is 3 volts. Let's have a look at something else. Let me move it across. Okay, okay, now I've got 1 volt over here. So let me just say 1 volt over here, or 1.0. And over here, well, I think that's pretty much on 2. So let's say 2.0. Okay, and I get, again, 1.0 plus 2. I get 3 volts again. Okay, let me move this over. Uh, let me move this over a little bit further. Okay, now I'm reading two volts over here. So I've got two volts over here on my V1 and on V2. Well, it's slightly over, but pretty much on one. So I get 2.0 plus 1.0. I get three volts. And you can see the voltage across here, across from here to here. And from here to here, well, it's a constant. I've got a 3 volts. 3 volts here, 0 volts here. So this plus, so whatever the voltage is between here and from here to here, that is also always going to add up to 3 volts. And the ammeter, well, nothing has changed. The ammeter has not changed at all. Okay, guys, hope that was useful. Bye for now.